Okay, now we're finally in the last three problems of section 4.5. So the first one says, the growth in population of a city can be seen using this formula here, where T is the number of years since 1938. Use this formula to calculate the population in 1948, round to the nearest whole number. So if, um, T equals 1938, or actually what we should say is T equal to zero corresponds to 1938, and T to the equal to one is gonna be 1939, T to the second would be 1940, um, T to the third would be 1941, and if we keep going, we got 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, and then finally 48. So this would be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Which makes sense because 1938 to 1948, it would have been 10 years that have passed, right? So my time here that I need to figure out is time 10. So I'm literally just going to take my expression that I have and I'm going to plug in 10 for T. So the population in 10 years will be what? 6016, my E button, and then 0 0.007 times 10. And we get, it says round to the nearest whole number. So the two is going to not change this. So it's gonna be 6452. And that will be the population in 10 years. So it's not growing too, too fast. Um, in 10 years, they only got about 436 people more, right? Okay, the next example says the growth in a population of a city can be used, can be seen using this formula, where T is the number of years since 1970. According to this formula, how many years will it take the population to double its 1970 value, round to the nearest tenth of a year? So um, this is important. So in 1970, that would mean no years have passed, right? So what was the population in 1970? That you get by plugging in zero for the time since no years have passed. And so what do I get here? 3625 e to the 0 0.003 times zero. Oops. We just get 3625. So now if I want that to double, that means it would be 3625 times two which would mean 7250. So it wants to know how long it would take for the population to double. So now I know that the population would be 7250, and I've gotta find out how many years have passed to make this happen. So I do have an exponential function. It's right here, but in order for me to introduce the I'm going to have to get rid of the coefficient, which means I need to divide by that coefficient on both sides. Always keep your fractions here. So that's actually 2, which makes sense because it was double. Then now this is base E, so I'm going to have to do log base E. But remember, log base E is the same as ln. So I'm actually gonna do the ln of this side and I'm gonna do the ln of this side. Then the ln, which is log base E, and base E are gonna undo each other. So I just have 0.003t. Now if I'm solving for t, all I have to do is divide by the coefficient. So then I get this, and let's see, we type that in the calculator, ln of two, over 0 0.003. I get 231. It says round to the nearest tenth of the year, but that four isn't going to affect the zero. 
So it's just going to be 231. So it's going to take 231 years for this to happen. Now the question didn't say what year it would be. Like is it going to be 2025? They didn't ask me that. It just said how many years will it take for it to double? And it's going to take 231 years for that population to double. Now we're on the last one. So this one gives us a function here and it says in this function t is the time in days and f of t is the number of bacteria at time t in millions. So f of t is in millions which means the y value is in millions and t which is the x value is in days. So they want me to find the number of bacteria present after each of these three times. So in two days Time is in days, so all I'm doing is plugging in a 2 for the time. So let's put that in there. 500 E 0 0.1 times 2. And uh, normally they make you round to the nearest uh, a certain decimal. So I'm just going to round to the tenth place because it doesn't tell me exactly what to round it to. Labs, it will tell you what to round to, so pay attention to that detail. I'm going to say 6.0 or 610.7 millions, right? That's how many bacteria are present after two days. Now, three days just means I'm going to plug in three. Oops, I put in an extra zero for some reason, which will change things, right? I won't get the correct answer. So I'm going to go back here. And I'm just going to change that 2 to a 3. Now I get 674.9 million of bacteria. And then now 2 weeks, well how many days is that? That's 14 days, right? So we're going to just plug in 14. And so I can go back and copy that and just change the 3 to 14 and I get 2027.6 million. Okay, so this is growing pretty fast, right? In one day it only had 610, the next day it had 674, and in two weeks now they're in the 2000s, right? So that just gives you an idea of how fast the bacteria can grow. Um, but that's the end of the example. So now you should have enough information for you to um, go into my math lab and get those homework assignments knocked out. Um, after this section is just the review for test three, test three, work on the review for the final, and take the final exam. And that's it.